Hi, this is Politics Girl, and this is the Argument for Democrats. Healthcare. I had someone tell me the other day that they liked the ACA, but they didn't like Obamacare. To be clear, the Affordable Care Act is Obamacare. They're exactly the same thing. One is the official name for the legislation passed during Obama's presidency that insured over 25 million Americans, offered federally matched money to expand Medicare in every state, put the end to lifetime caps imposed by insurance companies, made it illegal to price gouge people with pre-existing conditions, allowing them access to affordable insurance, and codified the law that allowed parents to keep their children on their insurance until 26 years old. Obamacare is the slur Republicans use to capitalize on certain people's distaste for President Obama. But it's exactly the same thing, and it's helped hundreds of millions of us in America. If Joe Biden is elected, he plans to expand the ACA to include 25 million more Americans to start and negotiate with drug companies to get critical prescription drug prices way down. If Donald Trump is elected, he plans to dissolve the ACA, throwing 25 million people off their insurance while making 150 million more people with pre-existing conditions basically uninsurable. If this affects you or someone close to you, then you need to vote for the Democrats. This isn't spin or politics. It's life or death. Look, as someone with a very serious lung disease myself, without the protections of the ACA, I won't survive. Keeping me alive costs about $300,000 a year. Now, with insurance, we pay about 10% of that. But without protections, I could be expected to pay 50% or more if I was insured at all. I don't know about you, but I don't happen to have an extra $150,000 a year. We won't be able to afford to keep me alive. And I'm not alone in that reality. There are lots of people in America like me. Now, maybe you won't die if you have to pay out of pocket for your insulin, your inhaler, your pacemaker, or your chemo. But you might go bankrupt. And for what? Corporate profits? Promises Trump made to his big donors? just to watch liberals cry? I know that some people find joy in pissing off people they find annoying, but I need you to understand that the Democratic Party is actually fighting to protect your health care, and the Republican Party is fighting to protect insurance companies' profits. It's cut and dry. The Trump administration already has a case coming up in the Supreme Court on November 10th to take away all those protections, but you get to vote on November 3rd over which way you'd like that to go. Now, even if they get their sixth judge on the Supreme Court, even if they get rid of the ACA, even if they're able to take all of our pre-existing condition protections and our health care away, if we have a Democratic executive, a Democratic Senate, and a Democratic House, we will be able to create new legislation that's written better. New legislation that protects more Americans. New legislation to protect our health care and our prescription drugs moving forward. New legislation that won't end up at the Supreme Court every 15 days. We have to do better, and the only people that care enough to make that happen are the Democrats. Don't forget to vote.